previously on Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Are we done? Can I go to bed now? Please? Damn it! <laughs> he wasn't the final boss! <laughs> he wasn't the final boss! <laughs> I wanna go to bed! <laughs> you fucking clams! Get the fuck away from me! What's going on guys? This is Bunzy and welcome back to another Let's Play of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Oh my god, so where we last left off, if you managed to get through that behemoth of an episode I uploaded, that I have the audacity to upload, <laughs> I commend you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know why I made the episode that long. I should have just chopped it up. I even thought about chopping it up when I was editing, and I didn't do it. And the reason that I didn't upload the day of... I, I ended up uploading Sakuna on my Phoenix Wright day, and it's just because the file took so long to upload and to edit and to export and, and all this craziness. But in the last episode, we unlocked a new area. Uh, Toemon and the, the little baby, they ended up getting lost because the baby ran off and Toemon went to find him. And then they got lost somewhere in the mountains. So basically, I had to go out and find them, but I had to unlock the area that they were lost in, which took forever because I had to go and do all the quests that were required in order to unlock that area. So it was basically just hours of me fighting enemies, coming back, working on my rice, fighting enemies, coming back, fighting enemies, coming back. And then after like two hours, I finally find Toemon, and there's a Kappa with them. Y you know that weird Japanese yokai thing? It's like a, it's like a green frog duck thing, and it has like a, a rain dish on its head. Yeah, so there's like a bunch of Kappas that needed my help. So I had to go out to the river, and there's like this giant demon catfish that took over the lake that all the Kappa lived at. So we killed him, we killed the catfish, and then to repay me, all the Kappa are like my friends now, and now they're going to take over, they're going to take care of all the extra fields that I, uh, that I own now, because now we have uh, several rice fields that we have to take care of, which is good. Uh, we, as you can see in the last episode, I started at level 8, and now we are at level 13. Uh, and we have this rice that is drying right now, so we're probably going to be level, like, 15 or something. Oh, level 16! <laughs> yeah, by the time the rice is ready, we'll be level 16. And, uh... We, we got some quality of life improvements. Um, Kinta, that little boy that uh, makes his weapons and stuff, he created a device called a hand thresher that's supposed to um, make the threshing go by... S oh, it's, it's right here in the, in the corner. So this thing right here makes the threshing go by way faster. It's so nice. But we get... Um, I, I heard that we get like even better stuff later down the line. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Grown my rice, fought a catfish, made friends with a kappa. Oh yeah, and we uh, we found a cat. That's not my cat. That's my dog. We have a cat now. I don't know where he is. He's around here somewhere. Uh, but that's about it, guys. You're all caught up. <laughs> if you didn't want to watch a, a two-hour-long video. Let's see, are there any, uh, any spiders? Also, don't worry, I am not doing what I did last time. I am, <laughs> I, we are, I'm not doing any more two hour long videos. That was ridiculous. Alright, let's see.
All right, let's see how my rice is doing. All right, it looks dry. All right, so I'll show you guys that new uh, thresher we got. Oh wait, I have to wait till nighttime. I almost forgot. So I'll show you guys once it's nighttime. The weather is excellent today. Oh, it's a nap outdoors. All right, Tillymon. Oh, here's the cat. Come, come. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, look at her. Let's see if I can uh, upgrade my weapons. Want me to make something? No, don't have the materials. What about, uh, Yui? Should I make something, Goddess? No. Places. Okay, let's send someone out. So I learned in the last episode that um, each of my different characters, they specialize in gathering a, a, a certain thing. So Toemon is like a jack of all trades. He'll bring back anything. Mirte brings back food. Kinta brings back materials for weapons. Yui brings back plants and things for armor. And Kaimaru brings back... Uh, uh, manure <laughs> for some reason. Uh, I want more materials for uh for armor. Here you go over I'm here. I'm leaving now. All right, let's see what this is. Amagashi Shrine. The ruins of a shrine that is as ancient as it is mysterious. Its cavernous depths lead down into an underground palace, which curiously resembles a shadow of Mihashira capital. Okay, and what's this one over here? Eventide Grotto. One of the places the Ashigumo tribe scattered to after being driven off by a horde of demons. They hid there despite knowing that their oppressors thrive in darkness. Ah. That's, uh... Maybe if we do this one, um... That one Ashigumo guy that hangs out with us will say something. Because <laughs> he hasn't done anything significant since the first episode. He's just been standing there. Ooh. Oh, they're all... They're all dead. Ooh, what is that? Uh... Yeah, they're like zombies or something. They are not but specters now. In all likelihood, they are the reincarnations of Ashigumo's fallen tribesmen. This is the first I've seen of such a thing. So how do these specters differ from demons? If demons are spirits that have succumbed to wickedness, specters are the animate embodiment of death who lead the living to doom. They are a threat to be greatly feared. 
Even demons are not immune to their power. So it would seem. Ashigumo's tribe was slaughtered by demons. Perhaps they are trying to exact revenge. Oh. Okay, enough! I don't need to wake up in a cold sweat tonight thinking about this. Let us return. Is that it? There's nothing else? It's just a fight with those- <laughs> with the Ashigumo zombies? Oh my god, well it's a good thing we uh... I went there first. Is that it? It doesn't even have like an exploration rate over it. It's just there. Huh. Alright, well I guess we'll go all the way over here. I'm a guy she shrine. Spectre entrance. Hmm. Something is off about this place. I sense an extraordinary malevolence below. I'd imagine that this cave goes quite deep. We should proceed with the utmost caution. Amagashi Shrine is an expansive maze spanning a hundred floors. The further the story advances, the farther you can explore. Altar stones placed at five floor intervals allow for easy re-entry. The lower floors hide powerful demons and rare treasures. If you're looking for a challenge, this is the place to go. Ooh. What is this? Nothing happens. died. A hundred floors?
Okay, so at every five uh, levels, there's like a... a place we can uh, skip to. It's a boss. Okay. Uh...
okay. <laughs> it's her nighttime. Oh, but that's interesting. That's something I gotta come back to. Back. Fallen leaves, iron ore, salmon. Alright. So let me show you guys that uh, new thresher I got. Yeah, see, this goes way faster. Device. Oh, it wasn't dry enough. It said it was plenty dry. Uh, manual labor at its worst. I can't wait when I get to upgrade this. Is this okay? It gleams so brilliantly. Now this is white rice. <laughs> this is pretty good. Yay, I'm starting to get better at this. Woo! Level 16! We got 60 things of rice. Nice! Rice blight? Hmm. This is cloudy rice. Rice blight. Sixteen. Oh, look at my two babies. So soft. You're still my favorite, though. Oh, look at you. All right, grasshopper. Grasshopper. So you were in the house. Lady Sakuna, Tama, I have troubling news. What now? We've only just arrived home. There were a number of fish floating in the river that comes from the southern volcano. The water looks and smells of poison. Ooh. Thankfully, our fields use a different water source, so it does not affect us directly. Still, I have my concerns. Poison from the volcano, you say? Has sulfur contaminated the water? If it doesn't affect our fields, what does it matter? We cannot very well worry about a volcano going about its usual business. <laughs> it's horrible! We're in deep this time. Ugh. Is there something in the air today? A horde of demons appeared out west, and they're heading toward the volcano. No rest for the wicked, huh? If we do not monitor what is occurring on this island, we may find ourselves at a disadvantage should the situation spiral out of control. True. To the southern volcano, then. Huh. Alright. First, let me, uh, check for spiders. Any spiders? No. I think the spiders only come out in the spring. Oh, there's a cutscene. What troubles you? Are you searching for something? You seem distressed. <sighs> oh, Sakuna, I lose my tortoiseshell hairpin. Hmm. A tortoiseshell hairpin, you say? You possess some rather fancy things. Yeah, Yamato people who become foremost believer gave it to me. Very special. I see. It was a gift, you say? 
Well, if you have not found it after all this searching, perhaps it would be better to create an entirely new one. I'm sure Kinta can handle making a trifle such as a hairpin at his level of skill. So breathe deeply and try to calm yourself. <sighs> now, now, it may yet turn up somewhere in the meantime as well. If you never took it out with you while gathering, it must be somewhere within the past. Mm. Yes, you're right. Since the hairpin is so precious to you, I will spare no effort at making your new one better than the one you lost. Oh, right! Right, time to pin down some materials. Oh, I already have them! Okay. I already have everything I need. Oh! <gasps> Another one! It's a white one! Oh, she's so pretty! Good grief. I see, <laughs> I see you have brought another dog. Yeah! yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I hesitate to bring in another mouth to feed, but... <laughs> so long as, it's er as it earns its keep. After all, it allows you to go outside. But this is the last one. No, we need more! <laughs> oh my goodness! Where is she? Where's the new one? No, that's the cat right there. Where's the doggy? Oh yeah, let me give those things to Kinta. Oh, that's great! We can send another person out to uh, gather stuff, now that we have a second dog. Hey! Hey, Kinta. Something happened. And that is more or less the whole of it. If you would. So, could you use this to create a hairpin for Mirte? Huh? I ain't never looked close at a lady's hairpin before. Mm. Ugh, men. Right. Then you may borrow mine. Take a good look and memorize its features. Uh, uh huh. That's enough. Take it back. Oh, what? Your face is warming to a delicate shade of red. What prepubescent thoughts fill that uneven head of yours? I oh, wait. What? It's just a hairpin. What are you doing? Idiot! You lame brain. I'm gonna start making it. So get out of my dang face! <sighs> How dare you take that tone of voice with me? You certainly are going through your moody phase. <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Okay, it's done. Hmm? Oh, you made two? Yes! Ah, I see. You made one for me as well. You have finally developed some consideration. Got it? Don't get your trousers in a twist. They're both for Myrte. Once she gets back to the lowly realm, it'll be easier to apologize to the folks that gave it to her if she gives them this. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much! I'm so happy! You little- Then why show me both in the first place? <laughs> Thanks much to you too, Sakuna. I make very good food today in gratitude. Yay! Food! Alright, that was cute. Uh, am I missing something? Is that everything for right now? Where's the second dog? I want to pet her. Oh, I don't see her anywhere. Oh well. Let's go to the volcano. Rock slide passage. Okay. Let's send Toemon uh, here. I'll be off then. Let's send Yui here. I'm leaving now. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Rock Slide Passage. This is the entrance to Hinui Island's volcanic peak, Crimson Blaze Mountain. The stony path is surrounded by cliffs prone to rock slides, as it is to ward off intruders. Reach the exit, reach the exit in 120 seconds, get obsidian, discover a mining area. Got it! Get it, got it, good. Oh, let me put on my, uh, my kitsune mask.
these rocks coming from? my mask going off in that direction. That was the chicken is bad. Seconds, get obsidian, discover a mining area. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, never mind. It's past 120 seconds. I'll come back in the morning. I have managed to return. for this meal. Listen here, Tama. Today you will finally tell me the tale of my parents' romance. All things are connected. This evening I will speak of the battle against Omizuchi. Oh, I cannot care less about this. You may skip it and move on to the good part. I want to hear about this. As do I. Me! Me! Even Kaimaru? Are all men so fascinated by stories of monsters? Yeah, yeah! 
first, a brief introduction of Omitsuchi. He is an evil god who is the source of the floods in the lowly realm. I heard that in order to appease him, the children of men offered him a human sacrifice every year. But one year, the woman appointed to be sacrificed escaped into the lofty realm. Lady Sakuna's mother, I take it. The great Lady Toyohana? She used the divine raiment I now hold to cross the realms and escaped her fate as a sacrifice, I assume. Isn't it kind of bad to abandon your duty like that? So what, you're saying she should have just laid down and died? I ain't got no sympathy for people who choose to sacrifice themselves. Moreover, it is not clear if the practice of sacrificing humans truly had the power to quell floods. However, we at least know that after Lady Toyohana's escape, the flood surged and manifested itself here on Hinui, in the form of the evil god Omizuchi. Following his emergence, Omizuchi pursued Lady Toyohana, but the disorienting spell cast on the past rendered his search fruitless. And so, in order to ferret her out, he sent his demons to ravage the island. The Ashigumo tribe fought bravely to protect their land, but they were no match for the mighty Omizuchi. One by one, they were defeated. Unable to stand idly by any longer, Lady Toyohana departed the pass, her divine raiment in hand. She likely believed that Omizuchi's appearance on this island was entirely her fault. Aw, oh, man. It was then that Lord Takaribi sprung into action at last. He could not simply allow the woman he loved to fly into the jaws of death. Thus did Lord Takaribi and Lady Toyohana join the Ashigumo in a great battle against Omizuchi. Despite Omizuchi's fierce strength, Lord Takaribi attacked him head on. Lady Toyohana parried one attack after another using her divine raiment. And the Ashigumo stood firm against a horde of innumerable demons. Their life or death struggle continued unabated as the battle rolled for many days and many nights. And when all had reached the peak of exhaustion, Lord Takaribi landed a decisive blow against Omizuchi. Even Omizuchi could not withstand such an attack. He drilled a fathomless hole in the earth and fled towards the ocean. Having lost their commander, the demons scattered to the winds. And at last, peace returned to the island. Wow, I had no idea such a crazy battle happened here. Lord Tama, that was a fascinating tale. Oh, 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 I'm pleased to hear it. Exactly how long did it take for my parents to get together? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the stories and the lore that we get when we uh when it's dinner time. Oh, what are you doing, Yui? Hmm. What's the matter, Yui? I typically see you and Kinta joined at the hip, but not today. Goddess! Shh! Could you come over here? Uh? What? What? What is it? Hey. See? Look at those two. The idiot samurai and Mirte? What are they discussing? Whoa! Oh, this elephant creature sounds gigantic! I would like to ride one so- <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Yeah, I also very surprised. And. <laughs> uh, 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 no, in Yanato we. Oh. oh, is that true? They seem to be getting on well enough. Recently, they've been like this whenever they got free time. Unfortunately. Princess, spying on others is bad manners. <laughs> I know that. I'm just about to leave. In any case, they do not necessarily appear to be in love with each other, but... Perhaps they get along so well because they both hail from cultured backgrounds. Curious indeed. Oh, <laughs> how cute! I love these little cutscenes that just happen randomly and when we learn more about the characters. It's really nice. I don't know where my white dog is. Maybe they just don't show up. So you only get to see this one, and then this cat. I'm assuming I get more cats. Alright, is there any, uh, any bugs or anything? 
around my field. No. Alright. I'm gonna try and uh, finish all the objectives in that one area that we were just at, and then I'll, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I was able to finish one of the objectives, which was uh, make it to the exit in two minutes. Um, I still need to find the, uh, do the other two objectives. So I need to find more obsidian, and I need to find another uh, mining spot, but that's basically it for right now. Alright, let's have dinner. I give my gratitude for this meal. Ashiguma also helped today. He's so help thoughtful. He doesn't live in this past, so where does he normally go? When I think he's here, there he's not. When I think he's gone, he's here. So weird. I know that when we are, when we or the Kappa go out to forage, he guards us from the shadows, but that is the extent of my knowledge. Those of the Ashigumo tribe trust one another to be self-sufficient and prefer not to move in groups. Unburdened by ego and each versatile, they only gather together when met by a crisis they cannot confront alone. They have the power to create, yet they have no houses, and mainly sleep in caves near the riverbanks. I expect that he thus resides by the river near the pass. I have not seen any other Ashigumo on this island. They have been hunted by the ever-multiplying horde of demons, and the others have most likely abandoned the island already. He is the only one who yet remains. I wonder what feelings hide behind his stoic facade as he aids us in our life here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and we saw in that one area, like, it was just like a bunch of Ashigumo skeletons. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, uh... I wouldn't blame most of them for leaving the island. Hmm? Is that Yui and Kaimaru over there? Is he crying? I don't know nothing about that. I ain't your ma or your sis. <laughs> what? <laughs> you seem upset. What happened? Aww. I wanna! What? People ain't gonna listen to you just because you yell and act all spoiled, you know. <laughs> If you let him go, you may never see him again! All right. I promise to protect you all, so you're coming with me to bring Kaimaru back! Search for Kaimaru outside the mountain pa- God damn it. I'm starting to not like Yui. <laughs> like, I'm liking Sakuna more and more, and I'm starting to really not like Yui. What is he doing here? Damn it, Kaimaru! this cave, but was I mistaken? Goddess, something's there! Uh, oh. Ha! Huh, I could sleep through these small fry with one hand tied behind my back. Come at me! Now come at me! <laughs> Look at Yui just standing there like, wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> she looks so unimpressed. <laughs> This is 
getting absurd. Just how many of these weaklings are there? Oh! oh! Ah! Over there as well? Yui! No! Oh! oh my god! Oh, he brought so many dogs! Dogs and cats! Sasa! What? <laughs> what? Kaimaru? I'm grateful. Look at all of them! Oh my god! <laughs> There's so many of them! They came to save you, and yet you were the ones who ended up being- We were the ones who were being saved instead. Hmm. Yui, do you have something to say? Oh. Th thank you. And- I'm sorry for saying such mean things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, there. You are a fine boy, Kaimaru. I'm proud of you. <sighs> but please do not quarrel again, I beg you. <laughs> you got it, goddess. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Did you see all those dogs? That was awesome! Come back here! Come here! <laughs> Where did you find all those dogs and cats? That was crazy. Alright, well we're done with that. Aw, I thought we could have more dogs. No, we still ha only have the two. Okay, let's send, uh... Um, let's send Yui to the forest. I'm leaving now. And let's send Kinta... Mm, let's just put them up here. I'm heading out. And I'm gonna try to finish the objectives here, so I'll be right back. Hopefully I can finish. Alright guys, I finished the objectives here. So now we have a new area. Noxious Dale. A valley shrouded in toxic smoke emitted by the volcano. You should either equip yourself to better resist poison, or try to rush through before your life is extinguished. Ooh. Um, I don't, I don't think I have any. Uh, let's see how bad it is. <laughs> Reach the exit. I'm going to die. Ooh. Yeah, that don't look good. Oh, the specters are here! Any of you, leave me alone. Gotcha. Additional base. Let's just go. Oh, are we done? Oh, an iron ore thing. Oh yeah, good thing I have the uh, the rice ability to get my uh, health back. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Explore with poison resistance effects. Get try. Oh, there's a mass down there. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go back to our home first. 
Can we start farming? No, can't do it yet. door open while she's weeping today. That is unusual. Hmm. I hear her in there, now that I think of it. She has never let me see her weaving. <laughs> Yui, are you inside? I'm coming in. Oh. No, no, please wait! Huh? Oh, did I startle you? Uh. No, I'm fine. Hmm. Uh, so how's the weaving hut? Is there anything you desire? There is, but I think it'd be hard to do. I can't use the thread I made with the loom I've got now. I might need a whole new one with a different kind of mechanism or something. I see. I would indeed not know where to begin with something like that. Okay. No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. No! What do you want? I probably have the materials. Should I make something, Goddess? Pine Hunter's Garments. Increases HP by 10, enhances strength by uh, when HP is full. I got it! Sure. Give me some space till it's done. Let's see. Ooh, purple! Wood and bamboo. Okay. Release with high quality oak. It's not here. I'm back. Isu, sedge, loach, chestnut, persimmon, wasabi. Okay. Wait, are you in your hut now? Oh, the kappa! That's where you were you standing here the whole time? See, look, guys, this is the the Kappa. There's supposed to be like five of them, but I guess only this one like lives with us. Just like the uh, the dog and the cat. Apparently, we're supposed to get ducks later, and that's gonna help with uh, the bugs on my on my rice crop. They're supposed to eat all the bugs, and we're supposed to get a cow to help with tilling. Wonder how long that's gonna take. How did you come to learn of Yanato, Mirte? Vitania is several oceans breath away, I assume. That good question. We first want to go place not Yanato. Wanted to go country called Auka. A, a country of Auka, you say? What's that? A great country on a continent across the northwestern sea. 
It easily dwarfs Yanato in size. Huh. Did you know about that, Kinta? I think I might have heard about that at the temple. I'm sure you did. The teachings of enlightenment passed down at temples came from Maluka. And it's not just that doctrine. Our government, literature, cooking, and even tool-making all come from the wisdom of Aluka. I have heard that even the chopsticks we used to eat originally came from Aluka. Mm. What? Is that true? This is the first I've heard of such a thing! Aluka and Fatanya is all far away, but can walk between. Long ago, people travel. We want to teach Fomos to Aluka too, but walking so hard. And Vatanya always war with country in between. So we travel with boat, far, far to east. On way, we learn about Yanato at country called Nadit. Nadit? Is that west of Oweka? I have not heard of it before, but some Yanato people must have traveled that far. What strange hobbies they have traveling such a distance to... Proselytize? If you came via the Western Sea Route, then you certainly would have come close to Yanato before reaching Ouka. I see. So then you got caught up in the war here, and your travels abruptly ended. Priest died in Yanato, and I hear... Oh no! Maybe cannot go Ouka now. But I think this God's will, so I work hard. You have endured more pain than I ever knew. Yeah, just hearing about it makes me feel bad. Yeah, poor Mirte. Then let us aid her in every way we can so that she is grateful she came to Yanato. Yeah! <laughs> I like that. <sighs> Thanks for Aw, that was nice. Can I farm now? I like how in the last episode I was complaining about farming, and now in this episode I want to start again. I'm just trying to level up, you know? Okay, let's see if I can find that mask in that, uh, in that poisonous place we were just at. Oh yeah, let's send our people out. I'm leaving now. I'm heading out. I found the mask. Let's check it out. Hori mask. A mask of a bearded old man. It is said to be modeled after the Elder Harvest God. <laughs> you whippersnuffer! <laughs> diminishes damage taken from poison attacks by 50%. Diminishes, diminishes damage taken from the environment by 30. Increases damage taken from enemies by 30. Ooh. Oh, so... Is this gonna give me the poison protection? Let me see. Or is it poison attacks from enemies? Let me see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I already uh, got, I got the achievement just now. Okay, so this is what we we're supposed to look for. We we're supposed to travel through the poison to find the mask, and now we have poison protection. And now we unlocked this new place. But I'm about to die, so I'm about to head back home. Let's see what's going on now. The Kappas! Oh, and uh, Ashigumo's here. <laughs> Oh, they're talking. <laughs> oh, they're dancing. 
you appear to be getting along well. I care not for the Kappa, but if I could only speak with Kaimaru... Hmm? You cannot speak with him? I can speak with both. What? <laughs> what?! Is this true? They use the language of Yanato! Got it. I do not rely merely on the words I know, but instead try to understand the other person. Hmm. I sort of follow, and yet I do not. But I suppose it is a rather nebulous concept. Lady Saguna! Uh? The big oaf is calling me. I must go. Kaimaru, come inside before dinner time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See you. You also be careful on your way home, Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, my sentiment shone through. Huh. Ah, that's the spirit. Aw, that was cute. What's this? A loach? Oh, we, we haven't gone to those gathering spots in a while. Let's do that. Uh, where's one? There's one right here. That's a good way to spend our time before dinner. I'm back! Bamboo, sedge, loach, bean, mushroom, chestnut, persimmon, wasabi. Nice. This is magnificent! <laughs> oh, they don't <laughs> you have improved. They don't say anything this time. Forget. Let's get the fertilizer started. Gotta scoop that poop. Shall we begin? All right. Rocks are in the way. One. I shall just have to move them. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's give it a try, ten. shall we? Got all the rocks. Now we can start sorting the seeds. Time to muddy the water. Oh, there's the other dog! Oh, she's in here! Okay. Is this okay? It sunk a bit. Pet you? No! She's stuck. No! She's stuck behind here. I can't touch her. Oh, I'm sad now. All right, let's chill. This. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta wait for the thing to be done. And it's not done yet. So. Let's check to see if we unlocked any uh, items, any weapons yet. Want me to make something? Ooh, yes, please. Leave it to me. Got me an iron sickle. Put 
Wait, wait, wait. I just saw it. 40. Nice. Alright, what about Yui? Should I make something, Goddess? Eh, she doesn't have any. I don't have the materials. fertilizer to be ready so we'll go to the new area we unlocked let's send the people out I like the combination I've been doing so far you sending you to the forest and uh, I'm leaving now sending Kinta to the spring over here we got a lot of stuff I sent Toamon in the last episode I sent Toamon somewhere and he came back with nothing like just nothing he was gone all day! Okay, saddle path. A small volcanic depression resembling a horse's saddle. The path ahead is blocked by a sounder of boar demons. Defeat purple scourge. Weaken purple scourge. Defeat purple scourge in 40 seconds. Jesus. Who's the purple scourge? Saddle path. Woo. Oh yeah! Fuck, 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 fuck! Wait, get up. <laughs> the, the new mask I have <laughs> increases damage taken from enemies by 30%. No! <laughs> uh, increases, increases war collection, increases textile and die collection. No, 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 no. Because it basically turns me into an old man. <laughs> I was like, why did that do so much damage? You won't get away. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh! That's a big boy right there! <laughs> Get out of here, you dumb-ass birds! Get up, get up!
Critical hits were acquired. Attacking may activate a critical hit, which doubles your damage dealt. Being attacked may activate Safeguard, which lowers damage taken by 30%. The higher your luck, the more often these effects will activate. Okay. How are you supposed to defeat that thing in 40 seconds? <laughs> oh, weaken Purple Scourge. Defeat Purple Scourge. Defeat Purple Scourge at night. Jesus. Alright, well, we'll do that later. So let me work on my plants. Golden glow. So we are done. Is this okay? Mm-hmm. This looks good. <sighs> okay. Let's check on my seeds right quick. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode right here. <laughs> I am- I learned my lesson from the last episode. I am- I refuse <laughs> to record for nine hours and then try to see through all that footage. I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> so if you made it this far- ooh, the, the- it's turning nighttime. That is very pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, if you made it this far into the episode, thank you so much. Please leave a like and a favorite. And a comment down below it really helps me out. Uh, press that notification bell. Have a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. Know that you are loved. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys!